Hello everyone and welcome back to Jet School and in this video we're taking a look at the two best raw materials for making RC airplanes that is foam board and coro sheet and how they perform against each other so I'm gonna start by breaking this down into three sections so we have material composition material properties and finally build techniques so first up material composition so foam board is actually a layer of foam sandwiched between two sheets of paper this paper layer can be completely removed exposing the solid foam layer whereas coral sheet is made out of a type of polymer or plastic it is hollow and has vertical and horizontal members which form its structure so in theory coral sheet should be lighter so secondly we have material properties so foam board is really rigid and brittle so applying a sufficient amount of load will break it it is pretty lightweight since it has a paper layer on both sides it is not waterproof but there are special types of waterproof foam board you can find on the market like flight test brown foam board and some flight test maker foam so if, if i'm right that's what it's called now analyzing coro sheet it's strong but also very flexible so it doesn't break like foam board but bends so the structure will survive a lot of crashes also coro sheet is anisotrophic in nature which means that the material exhibits different properties in different directions in case of coro the main variation will only be in terms of strength and rigidity so changing the direction of loading will give you different results in terms of strength. So when building with Coro, you have to consider loading direction with respect to the orientation of the lines. It is lightweight and waterproof as since it's plastic. I would say it's a bit more durable. Now finally going into build techniques, um, foam board can be cut in any direction and material properties won't change. Um, if the layer of paper is removed exposing the foam, it can easily be bent. Flight test style A, B and C folds can be easily executed as well as 45 degree angle cuts. So coro sheet on the other hand has to be cut in a particular direction depending on the parts to get maximum strength and these lines are the strong points so if it's your wings the loading will be perpendicular to the lines so you want the lines to be parallel to the wingspan to get strength the same is for horizontal and vertical stabilizers for the fuselage i recommend the lines to be perpendicular to the length of the aircraft for maximum structural strength and ease of folding you can always reinforce parts if you get it wrong. Making sure that there isn't a significant increase in weight of the aircraft. Removing the layers aren't easy and bending along the lines are impossible. So to bend parts you need to have the lines in the weak orientation. That is the hollow structure perpendicular to the bend and cutting the top layer off with a blade. And fortified bends can be done however it will be a bit difficult to get the hang of it in terms of adhesion foam board wins as most of its surfaces are solid therefore has more surface area whereas coro doesn't stick along its thickness due to its hollow structure therefore joining two wings half is pretty difficult for coro getting the orientation of coro sheet correctly will make the difference between an aircraft and a ground craft so take note so let's recap what we've learned foam board on one hand is made of paper and foam coro made of vertical and horizontal members isotropic anisotropic rigid and brittle strong and flexible lightweight both are lightweight not waterproof waterproof Easier to build, harder to build, complete addition and incomplete addition. So that's it for the recap. 
Now, in terms of availability, foam board is very hard to source and generally more expensive. While coral sheet are easy to source, cheaper and hard to work with. So, if you guys are wondering, you can still mix materials and make RC airplanes. Now, on this airplane, the wing is made out of coral sheet, the power pod is made out of foam board, and the rest of the aircraft is made out of cardboard. Now, this is the flight test guinea pig, and I also made the flight test uh, pizza box airplane. Now, this is also made out of cardboard. So that is the end of this lecture on foam board and curl. Hope you guys understood. If not, comment and I will try to answer them. And don't forget, subscribe and like as this supports my channel. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye-bye.